Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Um, I'm outside because I just realized the ducks took off and a couple of days ago we found them in the neighbor's pool. <laughs> um, so I am off to do that, but I wanted to do a quick intro. Today's pour is a repeat of a pour that I had done a while ago. Uh, by the name of Atoll. I hope you guys check that out also. That's at the end of this video and um, go from there. So really exciting news about November and the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas. And uh, we're really excited to bring that to you guys. I hope to see and meet some of you. It's going to be a fantastic time. There's a uh, private, uh, in a sense, private meet and greet that can be signed up on uh, that Friday night, November 12th. And uh, other than that, it'll be one-on-one -on -one teaching, um, small, small classrooms, and it's gonna be great. Um, we'll keep you posted in regards to the website being up for uh, purchasing tickets, uh, but we hope this is gonna be really successful and we hope you all enjoy your time for those that are able to make it. Uh, this is the first one uh, that we're planning. Hopefully, if this turns out to be a success, we'll do a few more over the course of the year in different locations. Uh, we'll see what the time brings. So enjoy today's pour. I'm off to find the ducks before the roofers come and have a great day. Bye. Hello all and uh, welcome to my channel. I am Sarah Mack and I am a fluid artist out of Massachusetts and I've been doing some fluid art for uh, going on about four years now. So tonight um, I'm going to be using a two foot by three foot canvas and I'm going to refer back to one of my favorite pores, a toll. So we are going to try and recreate that. Uh, in the upper left corner, you will see a link to a toll and also at the end of this video. So if you would like to see the original version, that is where you can go to see it and uh, go from there. So when I did a toll, I did it on a 20 by 20 inch canvas, but this time, like I said, a two foot by three foot. So what I did was watch my old video, took notes on the colors and the, in uh, the, how I layered the cups. So I'm gonna do two cups and we're gonna do two straight pours. So we are going to see how this works. My colors are Artist Loft Flow White. I know we can only get, and this is all new to me, I didn't even realize that when I ordered my six pack the last time it was soft bodied, but that was practically empty. So I went in the other room and grabbed a new bottle which is actually the Flow Acrylic. I'm not sure what the difference is. I read in some places that the new one creates cells, uh, but I am using the Flow Acrylic, and that's two parts Floetrol to one part paint. We're gonna put a little in each cup. And in the original P uh, video also, I used uh, Indian Anthrocanone Blue, so this time I'm assuming it's the same color, just by a different manufacturer. This is Golden's Anthroquinone Blue. And go from there. So we got blue and white in there. Um, and then the next color I have is Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. And this is mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And this is Turquoise Deep by Liquitex, and it is a heavy bodied paint. So I am layering my cups the same in each. Next up is the Golden, uh, not Golden's, uh, 24K Gold by DecoArt, and that's equal parts flow chalk to paint. And then I come in with Arteza's Bordeaux Red, and I mix this about seven to nine parts Floetrol to one part of the paint. This pigmentation for this paint is amazing. Uh, 
I have here Folk Art brand Fire Opal. It is a metallic color, metallic paint. And I have the bottle right here. So I do have a ton of this but uh, I'm gonna use that and we're gonna layer it right on top of the Bordeaux red. And then we come in with the white. Here we go. And the blue. I also have Liquitex Basics Iridescent Graphite, which I will add here. And then I'm gonna come in with some gold. Followed by turquoise. and the red. Now my paints are fairly thick, so the blending of colors does not happen as often as if your paints were thin. All right, and come back in with the blue and then aqua. And then gold. turquoise deep, or maybe it's a dark, I think it's deep. The fire opal. The red, then we're gonna go gold. white <laughs> getting to the top here so hopefully my layers are pretty good graphite blue opal And then I have red, gold, and white. All right, let's see how we do here. Red. Gold. And then white. All right, so I'm gonna move these way out of camera range. And I'm gonna move these cups out of the way. And then we'll be back with the canvas on the counter. See you soon. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off by putting a little bit of white on the canvas. I have two puddles and my paints are sort of sinking, but we're gonna start off with the first cup and here we go.
So what I think I'm gonna do is come over on this side and then pour right here. All right, so we've got both our puddles here. I love this one. I'm not sure about this one yet. We're gonna find out soon. I'm gonna give it a torch. notice it just started raining outside and my <laughs> sunroof is open and <laughs> so Mike just had to go out and save the day. And to close all that I was pouring and I could see the rain getting all over my car. So, ooh, I'm really excited about this. You know, in the original video, I wasn't sure either what it was going to look like, but it turned out beautiful as I stretched it open. And I just reached across your view. I think that's all I'm gonna do for now with the white. So. We are going to start to move it. Try to keep it in view for you guys. Get one more glove here. Let's get this stuff moving. I think I'm gonna come, actually I'm gonna come over here.
make sure we're still in view, kinda. I don't know, just bring it back a little bit. There you go. Now you guys can see the whole thing, I think. Look, I just want to point out, look at these cells. These cells are so awesome. All nice and striped. And they're getting bigger as we move everything. So something I noticed is that I don't want this area folding over itself. So I am gonna come in with more white paint because I really want it just to flow off the side and not lose any composition or not pretty details at least. Looking in with, let me see here. Let's come in with the turquoise dark. Lord knows there's plenty of paint on here, but I can stretch out the excess paint after. And I'm okay with that. So. This is so beautiful in here. And I want to try to preserve this area, so that's going to be tough to do. I'm gonna do my best. Doing all right. Not too far. And then I'm gonna bring it over to this corner and right off. to get it on me. And walk it back towards me here. And I'm gonna bring it to that corner. Hopefully. That one was a fast mover. <laughs> and I decided to use push pins with this because it makes it easier than having it on cups. And with my next one, I'm going to use Molly's stands that I absolutely love. Oh, this is so pretty. Which I love her stands. Let me see here. I'm gonna wait a second because it's coming off this edge here, which is perfect. I actually help it a bit. And then put it on this corner. It's okay, Moo. Moo just went flying by. He does not like rain. Um, he associates thunder with it. <laughs> All 
All right, so this so far is coming out beautiful. And now I'm gonna do like this here. So I'm gonna try and move this, although I'm a little worried that I'll lose some of that composition but I think it needs to go that way. I gotta feel where the paint is actually. Nope, I don't wanna. Can you guys hear that rain? It's crazy out there. It was like the skies just opened right up. this way and even it out. We're going to clean up some of our edging here. I think I'm done. Super happy with this. I'm going to clean up this back corner here on the right. And then um, right here. I don't know if you guys can even see it. But then uh, we'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Yay! Okay, here we are. I am loving this piece. The colors and the transparency in the layers is just so pretty. I'm super happy. And sorry for the light reflections, but this is all shimmery in here. I don't know, man. Sometimes it works. And I love this area here. all oh, just shimmery in here. I can't wait for this piece to dry. We will not see the dried results in this video. Look at all this. It's crazy. Look at those boulders and multiple colors. So it's so cool that when you turn the camera in different angles of light, different colors show up. But yeah, super pleased with this piece. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you in a moment. <laughs>